I will show you how to replace your old drive with the new technology. For example, on my computer now, I open this task manager here, a special program that shows you the performance of your computer and helps you to analyze what may be wrong with your computer. And here we can see that I have a disk that's having troubles processing all the information. In this case, what you can do is to replace your old hard drive with a new one. So what new disk are we going to use now? So we are going to replace an HDD drive, hard disk drive, with a so-called SSD drive, which is solid state drive. This is new technology and it's very fast. So how do we do that? We cannot just copy the data from our computer to this disk and insert it inside. You will have to use a special program. That's why I'm now going to show you how to do that. So let's search by Create Installation Media Windows 10. We get this result here. And it tells that we should create the Windows Installation Media. So let's go to Download Windows 10 site. And on this page we should choose Create Windows 10 Installation Media. Let's download this. And let's open this file. After a while we get this window. And now we get this option here. Create Installation Media. USB flash drive. That's what we're looking for. Let's insert the USB flash drive and click next next the USB flash drive has been detected here and we continue and it started downloading Windows 10 files to the USB flash drive and it says USB flash drive is ready so we press finish now we're gonna switch the hard drives and try to install Windows with this new recovery disk that we created using the Windows official installation creation media. Now we come to the next step. One of the most interesting parts, we need to shut down the computer and replace the hard disk. And now what we need to do is we need to open this cover here I will show it now and once we remove the cover we'll see the hard drive we will remove it and put the new one in on the back of the computer you can see a lot of screws you need to understand how you should remove the cover of the computer all computers are different so you need to check where the screws are what is the best way to remove this part it could be challenging for example, for this computer, I will have to unclick this plastic cover from the top part, and it could be challenging. For this purpose, I have special plastic tool, so that when I try to unclick this part here, I'm not going to damage the plastics. I've already switched the drives before on this computer, so I know that I will have to remove the battery first, and I will also have to remove the CD reader otherwise I will not be able to detach this plastic cover from the top part but the first thing I will do is to check all the screws that I need to remove sometimes you have some rubber caps here and you may not see all the screws so make sure you also check the rubber caps for example here I had a rubber cap that was hiding these two screws here. So you need to have a small screwdriver and start removing the screws. Now I removed all the screws and one of them probably was holding this CD reader inside. Now I can start removing it and as you can see it comes out easily. So this is how the CD reader looks like. 
and you just plug it in it also has here a socket now the most difficult part is to detach one plastic cover from another one for example here I'm not able to remove it never force it too much and do you see why I'm not able to remove it there are two screws if I would force it, I would break this plastic, so I need to remove these two screws as well. This is very important for any device that is protected by a plastic casing. Okay, now it's released. Now this is where our hard drive is, we need to remove it now, to do that we need first of all to unplug it, be careful not to touch anything and not to have static electricity on your clothes, because static electricity can pass to the computer from your body and damage your computer. I'm removing the plug. and I'm removing the hard drive, it's not even screwed so that's the old hard drive as there were no screws here, check if you need to remove something from this drive any protective cover so for example here I see these plastic pieces here and they are used to keep the hard drive inside, otherwise it would move I will have to remove it, make sure you remember the position of this piece and put it correctly this piece is important in this metal you have special spaces here so the rubber has also some geometry that only can fit in if you put it correctly this allows to keep the hard drive inside so it doesn't move around now I will put the cover back, but won't put any screws and after I copy all data back and make sure everything works correctly, I will screw everything back Now mostly even the old computers should be able to recognize the recovery USB drive or hard drive if it's plugged in when there's no Windows system files on the hard drive inside. Let's see if it does the same thing. Okay, now it says reboot the system. Boot device is not found, it says. If the computer doesn't detect your external drive from where you want to recover your system files, you need to go to the BIOS system. And to do that you have to turn off the computer. And when you turn it on, press F10 button here. If you see there was a small notification saying to get into BIOS you need to press F10. Now here we have the possibility to show the computer from where the computer should start loading the system files. From system configuration you go to boot options. And 
then you choose USB diskette on key USB hard drive. You need to put it up so that it becomes the first option. To put it up, you can change the values. It says five, F5 or F6. Now you see it's moving and F6 is moving up. Now we have the hard disk that's connected to USB as a priority. Let's save. Save and exit F10. Here option yes. Well then it looks like it's working now. So we tried different USB ports and one of them recognized the bootable USB drive. Okay, finally we have the installation window here. Windows set up here. And we can proceed recovering windows, which would be now clean installation. Now we're asked to accept license terms and continue. You will have to use this option because we don't have any windows installed on the hard drive. We choose the main drive, which is 200 something gigabytes. And now the process has started. This was pretty fast this time. Now I'm in the process of adjusting the settings for Windows. It will take a few steps and after that Windows installation will be complete. And here we are, we've got clean installation of Windows.